Hi guys, it's me Kiss again. This time we are going to have another tutorial about MS SQL or Microsoft SQL. This time we are going to deal about case statements. Okay, so it's like a conditional statement from which you are going to deal with multiple cases. So we're just going to start the new query in here. So if this is the first time that you have watched this video, kindly check on our previous videos for this one. So we are going to create a case statement regarding the genre of the music DB or database. However, we are going to focus on the genres table. So first we are going to type in select. Then next is we are going to type uh, genre ID, okay, which is under the general table. Be sure that you are on the right database before you are going to start this one. Then type in case. Afterwards, you're going to type when, then type again genre ID. So first is, we are going to type in the first one. First case is genre ID is equal to one. Then let's just provide a statement in here. You are a rocker. So if you have chosen the first genre, then definitely you are a rocker. Then we're just going to continue with the next one. So when genre ID is equal to, let's say, number 2, then you are a rapper, something like that. So it's just a matter of providing some sort of multiple conditions based on whichever genre ID you're going to choose from. So we're just going to provide at least three choices in here. So third one is you're a pop star, then... For the fourth one, let's say for example, if um, you are dealing with choices which is not on any of these three, so we're just going to change this one to something like else. So it's like an if-else statement if you're familiar with it, if you're familiar with programming languages. So it's somehow look like this. However, there is some sort of um, numerical conditions. So I'm just going to type in else, then if ever... You are not going to choose any of the three then you love all genres something like that then afterwards we can provide another ending statement in here let's say i'm just going to say and as uh, your genre that's it then afterwards we can start checking if everything is okay i'm just going to get the reference from the genres table and I think everything is okay now so what we're going to do next is just to execute this statement there you go so as you can see so whichever number you're going to choose there's a corresponding statement so the last one or some sort of a default statement okay so that is how you're going to deal with case statement using Microsoft SQL Okay, so bye for now.